What's up guys, RK here, the non-hippie farmer, and so, uh, like I said, I've been going from knowing absolutely nothing about aquaponics and trying to figure out how to make a system work, and because I heard that once you can get a system and you learn the basics of a system, you can do it on a larger scale, and that's what, that's what we're going after. So, I found out that once you have your system, um, we're starting off with the backyard system, backyard little porch aquaponic system because we don't have a backyard uh, that you need to cycle your water you need to get your water you could either do a um, just start it off with your fish or you could do a fishless cycle and that's what we've decided to do because uh, I guess it's pretty easy to cause uh, your fish to be martyrs for the sake of your system meaning as you're getting the, the as the system is is balancing out and creating a nice little ecosystem for you uh, your fish sometimes will die uh, because of you know uh, you know whatever too high a pH or whatever goes wrong and you just end up sacrificing your fish for the sake of system or you can get everything ready for your fish and um, get all the bacteria and everything going so that uh, it, everything is ready for you to plop your fish in there. So this is what I have found out and I wrote it here on my uh, trusty dusty whiteboard. So uh, first thing you want to start off with is ammonia. So uh, fish I guess will crap out and pee you know their waste and this gets uh, this is basically ammonia and then the ammonia begins to attract the things that you need uh, in your system to, to start the process going. So the first thing that you need to do is fill your fish tank and check the ammonia level. Um, usually it's going to be pretty low and what you need to do is you need to just start adding capfuls of ammonia. So there's different ways that you can get ammonia into your system. Um, I've, I've heard things like uh, you could pee in it, <laughs> you could throw dead fish into it. Um, at the at the store, one of the guys was telling me that you can throw um, uh, shrimp in it, and this will create uh, raise the ammonia level. Uh, what I did is I went to the hardware store. I had to call around to a bunch of them till I found some clear ammonia with no perfumes and no dyes in it, and um, you just pour capfuls. And so what you need to do is get your water going, let it run through your system for a little bit and then check the ammonia level and then add a couple capfuls of ammonia to your water until you get to five parts per million, five ppm. And what you need to do is you need to actually check how many capfuls it took you to get to five ppm because what you need to do is you need to add that same amount of ammonia every single day um, until you get some nitrites. So nitrites um, is the ammonia is going to attract the nitrites and what you actually need to do is you want to keep adding your ammonia till you get to 0.5 parts per million uh, of nitrate, nitrites. Once you get 5, 0.5 parts per million nitrites then you can actually cut your capfuls of ammonia in half. So if say you were adding uh, six capfuls of ammonia to get to your five ppm for ammonia you can cut it down to three once you have some nitrites in place now what needs to happen is these nitrites need to be converted into nitrates because the nitrates is what the plants actually eat as food it's a healthy bacteria uh, I was reading one article and they said that Aquaponics farmers, you're actually bacteria farmers because bacteria is what the plants are going to grow or our plants are going to eat. So uh, the nitrates is actually um, what the fish poo is, what we want it to get translated to so that we can grow a nice healthy plants. Um, so you keep on adding half the amount of ammonia to your fish tank a day until you get to 5 to 10 parts per million of nitrates and once you get to 5 to 10 parts per million of nitrates and you have zero nitrites then you can add your fish without killing them and causing them to be martyrs for your system so here's the numbers add ammonia until you get to 5 ppm then keep on adding ammonia until you get to 0.5 ppm of nitrites cut your ammonia in half until you get to 5 to 10 ppm of nitrates and your nit 
nitrites are at zero, and once you get to zero on the nitrite level, then you can add your fish. Hope that helped. Um, got any comments for me? Did I say something wrong? Because there is a possibility because I really I don't know what I'm talking about. I am a city boy. Um, this is just what I found from the research that I've been doing on Google. Hope it helped you. If you've got any questions, ask them below. Leave me a comment. Leave me a suggestion. Uh, su subscribe to the videos. Whatever you got to do. Uh, I want to say thank you for watching and talk soon.